show you some useful keyboard shortcuts for calculator. All right, the first one is Alt 2. That will change the calculator to a scientific calculator. Next is Alt 3. That will change the calculator to a programming calculator. Alt 4 will change it to a statistics calculator. If I press Alt 1, it will go back to a standard calculator. Control H goes to history. So as you can see, there's currently nothing in the history. And if I press it again, it will go back. If I press Control U, it will change to unit conversion. To convert something, all you have to do is select the type of unit that you want to convert, and then select what you want it to convert from and what you want it to convert to. Right now it's on angle. For angle, you have the option for degree, gradient, or radian. Next is area. You have the option for acres, hectares, square centimeters, square feet, square inch, square kilometer, square meters, square mile, square millimeter, or square yard. Next is energy. You have the option for British thermal unit, calorie, electron volts, foot pound, joule, kilocalorie, and kilojoule. Next is length. You have the option for angstrom, centimeters, chain, fathom, feet, hand, inch, kilometers, link, meter, microns, mile, millimeters, nanometer, nautical miles, PICA, or PICA, rods, span, and yard. Next is power. You have the option for British thermal unit per minute, foot pound per minute, horsepower, kilowatt, and watt. Next is pressure. You have the option for atmosphere, bar, kilopascal, millimeter of mercury, pascal, and pound per square inch, or PSI. Next is temperature. You have the option for degrees Celsius, degrees Fahrenheit, or Kelvin. Next is time. You have the option for day, hour, microsecond, millisecond, minute, second, and week. Next is velocity. You have the option for centimeter per second, feet per second, kilometer per hour, knots, match, meter per second, and miles per hour. Next is volume. You have the option for cubic centimeter, cubic feet, cubic inch, cubic meter, cubic yard, fluid ounce, UK, fluid ounce US, gallon UK, gallon US, liter, pint UK, pint US, quart UK, and quart US. The last one is weight or mass. You have the option for carat, centigram, decigram, decagram, gram, hectogram, kilogram, long ton, milligram, ounce, pound, short ton, stone, and tone. If I press Control F4 or Control Fn and F4, the calculator will go back to basic. If I press Control E, it goes to date calculation. From here, you have the option to calculate the difference between two dates or add or subtract days to a specified date. Now if I press Control F4 or Control Fn and F4, once again, the calculator will go back to basic. Now I'm going to press Control H again. This will go back into the history. Now if I press F2 or Fn and F2, I can edit the history. If I press enter, it will calculate. Now if I press the escape key, it will cancel the edit. So as you can see, it goes back to zero. If I press Control, Shift, and D, it will clear the history. And if I press Control, H one more time, it will close the history.
If I press Control C, it will copy. If I press Control V, it will paste. And if I press F1 or Fn and F1, it will go to help. So those were some useful keyboard shortcuts for calculator. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I'll see you in my next video.